Welcome everybody to This is the Shooting. I know I've been gone for a little bit. My phone died on me. I had to get a new phone. Had to go through that whole process and then learn how the new phone operates. So that's where I've been at. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. One, is free. Two, it helps out this channel. And three, you always get up-to-date videos. And it, you scratch my back. And I'm helping, you know, and I come out and hopefully entertain you guys to an extent or or get into some in-depth conversations because I want your guys' opinions in the comments below. Everyone's going on and on with speculations, assumptions about all these cuts that the WWE has been making. And these cuts are obviously going through Vince McMahon. The last set of cuts happened this past Friday with Tony, with the likes of Tony Nese. Uh, DeVoy, a lot of 205 live individuals. Um, Killian Dane was probably the biggest name on that list to get cut. And fans are starting to get worried that the, 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 the rumors that you're hearing that WWE is going to sell, that Vince McMahon is going to sell the WWE are true. Get out of here with that. They ain't about to sell. Everything that we are seeing right now is business. Strictly business. I know the last set of cuts before this last one with the likes of Braun Strowman, Alistair Black. I can't remember if Andrade was on that list on the second round or he was on the first round of cuts. And then on the first rounds, obviously Samoa Joe was the big name and Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. But they brought Samoa Joe back. Braun Strowman, he's probably not going to come back. But when you look at the injuries, Booker T went on to say, you know, you look at his injuries. Yeah, he's a he's a big star, but he's had a lot of injuries. Maybe that had something to play in it. But now it's the black that was beginning to push him. And they cut him. That was a baffling move, I will admit, that I don't understand why they cut Alistair Black. I would almost put my I'd almost put any amount of money on that Alistair Black's going to go to AEW. But this is all business oriented. Vince McMahon. Say what you will about him, is a businessman to the T. This is about saving the WWE money because the WWE is about to go back on the road. And most importantly, they have brought on a lot of new talent. And they got a lot of talent, younger talent, by the way, on the roster that's not doing anything or they can't seem to get a foothold because some of the spots are taken from the older wrestlers, the veteran guys inside the WWE. You have to get the old out to propel the new. Sure, I hate seeing Braun Strowman get cut. Sure, I hate seeing Aleister Black go. I hated seeing the Iconics get cut. I don't like seeing Andrade get cut. But this is the business world in which us as fans, we're not behind the scenes. I know social media makes a lot of fans think that, oh, we are behind the scenes. We're in the, we're in the thick of it. But we're really not. We're on the outside, always looking in. We're never on the inside. Heck, you look at shows like Busted Open, Bully Ray. Mark Henry, who signed with AEW, who left WWE to go to AEW to pursue opportunity that he wasn't going to get inside the WWE backstage. He wants to produce. He wants to be, had more say-so. AEW is going to give him that say-so. Paul Wright, a.k.a. better known as The Big Show, the same thing. He had a lot left in the tank. He was not going to be used the way he wanted to be used in the WWE, so he left for the money. He left for Tony Khan. Same with Christian Cage. Left because he had that conversation with Tony Khan. And no one knows what was being discussed in the contract negotiations with AEW. And the contract negotiations with WWE. WWE is not going anywhere, guys. Vince McMahon is not going to sell. Especially when you look at, look at his family who have... Who have strong connections. Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon are doing a lot inside the WWE, behind the scenes and on the screens. They're not going to sell. They're making room to, I believe, they're going to go through a changing process. They're going to change the way the product is being presented to us 
the fans. In order to do that, you got to propel and push the younger talent. All we ever, all the fans ever say, myself included, is, man, I wish they would push the younger talent. Well, it's hard to push the younger talent when you got the likes of Braun Strowman, who casts such a large shadow. Who, by the way, Mark Henry brought in. So look for Braun Strowman to go to AEW. Look for Alistair Black to go to AEW. Samoa Joe's back on NXT in a very good role, by the way. Everyone needs to calm down. Everyone needs to breathe. It's not going to be that serious. WWE is going through a changing process. Think about the Attitude Era. When they went from the Attitude Era to the Ruthless Aggression Era, WWE had to find themselves again. And then when they went from the Aggression Era to the PG, the PG Era, they went through... A transition there as well. And now we're getting to see another transition. The world of wrestling and sports entertainment has changed significantly. Not only because of COVID-19 and the pandemic. But because the world has changed. Fans have changed. Fans know things that the WWE don't want us to know before the WWE even announces it. Same goes for AEW. Same goes for Impact Wrestling. Same goes for NWA. What we're seeing is the business side of Vince, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Where he's letting these talents walk. And believe me, I don't think all of them are your cut. I believe some of them are this is our idea for you. They said no. So they let him go and they release him. I'm not saying you're not going to see him back inside the WWE. Look at Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is a great example of that. Yes, they cut Mickey James, and Mickey James has been coming out just backlashing at the WWE because she's bitter of being released. Say what you will, she's upset. I've listened to her on podcasts like Busted Open Talking, and you can tell she's hurt, and she's bitter about being released from the WWE. She's bitter about not being able to be used the way she wanted to be used inside the WWE, and she's bitter about how they used the women's division, and I have to agree with her on that, that, hey, they have, WWE is not took advantage of the women's division the way they should have and the way they used to. WWE's going to be fine. We as fans are not going to lose the WWE. And Vince McMahon's not going to sell the WWE. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm keep saying that because they're not going to. Sure, it's kind of nice to envision, oh man, who's going to buy? It, but it brings interest to the product. It gets the fans talking about the product. Everything that's going on has fans talking. What's going to happen with the WWE? Is Vince McMahon really going to sell? I don't see it happening. How could it happen? When you got your children involved in it. Now, if Shane had no interest and Stephanie had no interest, sure, maybe Vince McMahon's going to sell. But I don't think that's going to be the case. This is all to help the WWE in the future to compete with AEW. Because AEW is doing a lot of things right. But AEW is not quite there. AEW is not on the WCW level of competition with WWE. Eric Bischoff came out on his podcast of 83 weeks and even said that. That AEW is on the way, but they are not truly a, comp a competition for WWE just yet. They got some things they got to fix. They got some things they got to, to, to adapt to yet. I'm going to be getting into the, the business side of AEW in another video and how I think Tony Khan may not be up to the task of being a businessman like a lot of like he needs to be for what he's doing inside the wrestling world. Wrestling world, believe it or not, is still a cutthroat industry. And the wrestlers are going to do everything they can to, to sustain themselves in the top spot. And I believe that's going to be an issue later on down the road for AEW. And I'm going to explain that in another video. So I'm not going to give it all to you at once. But I'm just going to make these comments, last few comments of, look, it, you hate to see it happen with people getting cut, but that's life. You hate to see someone get fired at, at your workplace. Sometimes, sometimes you're like, oh, thank God they're gone. But it's going to happen. WWE's going to be fine. I'll see you guys later.